Titan II is the largest and most powerful missile weapon system ever deployed by the United States. It stands 103 feet tall, 10 feet in diameter, and to the bottom of the silo is just shy of 150 feet. The missile carries a 9 megaton thermonuclear weapon. Megatons is the unit of measure we use to describe the explosive power of nuclear weapons, and what it refers to is the equivalent explosive power in TNT. So when we say we have a 9 megaton weapon, what we mean is that it has the same explosive power as 9 million tons of TNT. Now, how much is 9 million tons of TNT? If you were to start loading boxcars with TNT until you had a train that was hauling 9 million tons worth, that train would be almost 1,200 miles long. 9 megatons is sufficient power to destroy an area of about 900 square miles. That's a circle 34 miles in diameter. And it's nominally 650 times more powerful than the bombs dropped on Japan during World War II. could withstand in excess of a thousand pounds per square inch overpressure. Doesn't mean a lot, does it? To realize a tornado only requires five to eight pounds overpressure to completely destroy your house. Very well built. Commander makes fourth and final phone call. Request permission, enter blast door six, seven, and eight. Everything in order. They depress a button. The commander depresses a button. Hydraulic pins retracted. Then and only then can the sealed blast door be opened. Come on in. So what we need to do when we get done copying the message is we open the red safe, and from that we take a number of, they're like playing cards. They almost look like baseball cards you get at the drugstore. A big stack of them in sealed foil packets, and we need to choose the correct one, which we're told how to do in our message, and we open that little foil packet up, and if the card inside has the exact same code word as the card in our radio message, then this is an authentic launch. So the next thing we take out of the safe is our launch keys. It takes two keys to fire the missile, put a key in right here for the commander, and we'll put a key in way over here for the deputy. Now the keys are far enough apart that one person can't reach them both and they need to be turned within two seconds of each other to start the launch. That way, two people are required to do the operation. So the code for this valve is not in the red safe. That code comes in with the order to launch and it goes right here. On this little switch are six wheels and on each wheel are 16 letters of the alphabet. So 16 to the sixth power. That's about 17 million combinations, only one of which will unlock the missile. And it's not like you can come down here and start guessing. I mean, given time, you could make your way through 17 million combinations, except that this only gives you seven chances to get it right. After that, it commits electronic suicide, takes the missile off alert until someone can come down here to fix it. Once we have done all those, th all those four things, authenticate the launch, install our keys, determine the time of launch, and enter the BVL combination, once we've done those, we're good to go. And all that's required is to turn two keys. Typically, the commander would give a little countdown. Three, two, one, turn key. Turn and hold. And release. The green light turns on and says launch enable. For all intents and purposes, that light should say welcome to World War III, because that's what it boils down to.